Hey beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. Today I have a Walmart versus Target slime review. So I've done one of these before. I'll link it down below in the description box if you didn't check out that one yet. But today I'm back with a brand new video, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Please make sure to click that subscribe button if you aren't already, and let's get started. Before we hop into the slime, this video is sponsored by June's Journey, which I thought you guys would love because it's a super relaxing game. I love to do this to kind of unwind and just like slime, it's super fun to just kind of relax a little bit and take some time each day for yourself. This is a 1920s inspired murder mystery, but this is a hidden object game. So you have to find all the different objects and in the scene and the scenes are so beautiful and nicely done. And basically you're helping June solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's secrets. As you guys know, I love sharing apps with you and this is one of my current favorites and it's just so much fun to kind of unwind at the end of the day. It's challenging, but it also has a fun storyline. So it's kind of like a story and a game combined. So if you're interested in downloading it, it's free to download. I'll link it down below in the description box and let me know in the comments what level you get to. So I'll leave that down below for you and let's hop into the slime. Just like I did in my last video like this, I'm gonna hop back and forth between Walmart slime and Target. So this first one is from Walmart and just looking at the packaging, I noticed a few questionable things. So it said looks and feels real. However, the picture is just regular spaghetti and meatballs. It says actual product not represented, which means they don't actually use a picture of their own product on the packaging. So I'm led to believe that this is not gonna look anything like the photo, which it kind of didn't. I thought the noodles were pretty like realistic looking. The sauce looked kind of realistic in the packaging, but clearly it had no meatballs like in the picture and it's just I don't know it's just very oh it's such a weird texture and the noodles are definitely not slime and the whole concept of this was a bit odd so I thought it would be cool I was really interested to try this one but I was like pretty disappointed this was like a really sticky slime how but since it's like a store-bought slime it can't be used, like borax can't be used to fix it so it was just strange like it wouldn't mix into the noodles at all so I'm like what's the point of that I thought the noodles would maybe give it a fun texture but it just wouldn't stick to it whatsoever so I was just like how are you supposed to play with this you're not really it's just odd I don't know The next slime is from Orb Slimy, and this is the Fruit Sensation. This is like a strawberry scent. So it's supposed to have a super fruity smell. So let's take a gander. So inside this packaging, as you can see, the slime like instantly deflated. So it wasn't completely full, but the color was beautiful. It was like this pink pearl color, and it did have a nice strawberry scent to it. It kind of reminded me of like kids chapstick. Like it brought back scents from my childhood. And the slime itself, wasn't terrible. It had a very strange texture, as you could kind of expect sometimes with store-bought slimes, but it was still stretchy. It wasn't the best for like bubble pops or poking, but you could stretch it rather good, and the color was really pretty. So overall, this one wasn't terrible, but definitely not my favorite. This next slime is from Walmart and this was a marshmallow slime and this was another one I was really excited to try and again it's supposed to look and feel real and it is scented. I will say the scent was pretty spot on for marshmallow and here's where I'm torn. I've never seen like an off-white marshmallow. I don't know about you guys but let me know if this looks like a marshmallow to you. However the texture was definitely kind of what I would picture like if a marshmallow was a slime like this would be the texture. The texture on this one was very unique and really hard to explain the best thing I thought I could compare this to is it almost feels like a little bit stretchier version of like dough like you would make for homemade bread so it kind of like pulls strangely you could see it'll rip a little bit but it doesn't really stick to itself too much I don't know it was an overall weird texture but I did think it probably felt a bit like a marshmallow so the color was the only thing that was kind of off for me but the scent was pretty good
This next slime from Target was this amazing slime, extra large. This was like a glitter, glitter palooza is what it was called. And I was a little sketched out because this one was actually opened and it looked like somebody took a handful out of it. I didn't realize that at all. It actually had a wrapper on it, um, but it was just like, completely cut off around the lid and I just didn't notice when I bought this but this was a super super thick putty this was probably my favorite out of all of them for a few reasons for one it really felt like a thick clear slime it wasn't um that great for playing with or like stretching but I thought it was really really pretty the glitter definitely left some fallout as you can see at the end it was all over my hands and table and it like stuck to me it was actually really hard to get off and the more I played with it, the stiffer it got. But at the beginning, I really liked it. I really liked the color on this one. Um, but just, I don't know, for the price, I just always love um, like handmade slimes way better than store putties for the most part. So this one just, it was good. It was definitely probably one of my favorites. But again, just you can't top handmade slimes. The next slime from Walmart was called Rainbow Ooze, and this one was layered. And the thing with this one is when I tried to take it out, it was very crumbly, as you could see, and I actually didn't realize that it had a piece of plastic in between. That was actually really hard to get out. You'll see the shape of it once I pull it out, and this was in between each layer. At first, I had no idea what it was, how I could get it out. All it felt like was there was a film between all the layers. So anyways, it came with this like blue, purple, and pink color and to mix them together they were very pretty but these were so crumbly it was nearly impossible to play with you'll see how easy they ripped um, I barely had to pull like at all and so it just didn't stick together hardly at all but it was really pretty in color This next slime I actually had really high hopes for because it was a Ryan's World slime. So I thought I'd represent the YouTube community. And what I thought was odd is on the outside, it didn't tell you what actual color slime it was, but I got the gold one. And at first this was kind of fun and super jiggly to play with, but you definitely could not poke it at all. But this one was actually like the worst one. This one got gold glitter all over my hands. And the terrible thing about this was it would rip into a million pieces when you try to like stretch it and the pieces would not stick back together at all. So I don't know, maybe it has to sit for a long time to come back together, but as you can see, I just kept squeezing them together and they just would not stick. So it kept getting more and more crumbly. The color was really pretty, but I would definitely not call this much of a slime. The next slime I wanted to get was Flarp, which is actually a noise putty, which I've had these for like ever since I was younger and I loved them. So I haven't tried it in so long. So I thought I would. This one was actually very satisfying and it smelled delicious. I didn't realize it was scented, but it was like very fruity and like strawberry. Quite honestly, I was only really expecting this to sound and be fun to play with in the actual container, like when you make it make the fart noises, but this was actually like a really nice texture. It was one of the better textures out of all of them to stretch and poke. So this one, like for what it was and the price, I definitely think this was one of my favorites. Next slime from Target is called Planet Putty and this one was in the color Neptune and the color on this, I mean look at this, it was so beautiful. It was had like really fine glitter and it was just such a pretty blue color and I honestly wasn't expecting this one to be too stretchy because it did say putty on the like container whereas most of these call themselves slimes when they're more like putties. So this one was really pretty. It definitely, the more I played with it, the stiffer it became and the easier it ripped, but I thought the color was really pretty on this one.
Now I have these two putties here I just picked up last minute at Target and I'm actually really disappointed in these. Target slime section like is not very well organized at least at the Targets I've been to and it's really hard to find the prices so I kind of just assumed these would maybe be like a dollar but these were like $3.99 each and I was just like what? What a ripoff. So this was just a putty. It was pretty in color but that's about it. So I was not too impressed with these at all especially for the price. But anyway that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which of these was your favorite and let me know in the comments down below if you think Target or Walmart won and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!